Here we have the Lenovo Yoga 6. Now, have you ever thought to yourself that you want just like a cheap little laptop that you can throw in your backpack and it kind of acts as both an iPad as well as a traditional laptop? Well, then you have finally found what you're looking for. This is answer. This is basically Lenovo's sort of like entry level answer to the two in one tablet laptop combo unit. And frankly, I'm not a big fan of those Swiss Army knife devices because I happen to find that they're a jack of all, a jack of no trades and really a master of none. But this one is actually not so bad aside from a few shortcomings. But today, what we wanna do is dive a little deeper into this Yoga 6, find out if it's any good, and see if you should get one yourself. So again, this is Lenovo Yoga 6 13.3 inch, full high definition, 10 point multi, touch screen, two in one tablet laptop. Overall, this thing is not too bad. The screen quality on it is fairly bright. It is glossy as hell. I mean, if I, I like, I don't know if I can show this really on camera, but yeah, there we go. Right there. Look at those, look at those lights. This thing is glossy as hell, but I don't really think that it's going to be that disruptive if you're working on, a, let's say, a college campus or outside, or maybe really the only time this would really be really be pretty bad is if you're maybe like sitting in front of a window. But all in all, it does a pretty good job at being bright enough and sort of being able to thwart the, the, the glare in there. Nevertheless, I do kind of wish manufacturers would work a little bit harder on their anti-glare, but let's, let's move past the LCD screen. It is a good, you know what, let's, let's jump right back in. It is a good LCD screen uh, for the price tag. Lenovo has been, is still one of the only manufacturers to put 720p monitors in their laptop still. I think there is absolutely no excuse for that. Even HP, for the most part, has moved past the 20, uh, 720p monitors, but no, Lenovo is still sticking with those outdated resolution monitors in some of their entry-level machines like the IdeaPad 3. But this one does have an FHD screen. It's pretty responsive as far as the touch is concerned. And again, it's an IPS display. It's colorful, it's bright, it's got good viewing angle. It's not a bad display at all. That said, then you get to the speakers. And the speakers on this thing are crap. So of course it says it's Dolby Atmos speakers on it. And anytime a laptop manufacturer boasts about what kind of speakers it has, you know they're automatically going to be garbage. And this one is no exception. The audio is tinny and junky and there's no bass, there's no, there's no lows, there's no mids, there's no highs, there's just trash speakers. I really, you just might as well be listening to it from a tin can. But that's it. You know what? Let me just go ahead and I'll just play a little audio clip right here. We'll just, we'll just cancel out of this awesome, beautiful European scenery and we'll just see. Does, I don't know if it's really going to make a difference if you can hear it or not. So picking it up on, on the microphone. Let me, let me just sort of move my chest in there. Yeah. Very lackluster. There's really no definition to the audio on this thing. But you know, you can't blame them. You'd rather them sacrifice, I think, the speakers than something else on the machine. And frankly, that's what they did. Everything else on here is pretty, pretty good. Let me go ahead and just get rid of, get rid of, get rid of this awesome album and I'll go back to the nice, the nice European scenery here, if I can find the damn thing. And let's, let's just hit full screen. There we go. So uh, they did a really good job about everything else on this thing. The quality of materials on here is pretty outstanding. This is a very good quality plastic. It's kind of light and it really does feel like it can kind of take a beating. The back of this is absolutely fascinating. They basically put like a denim material on the back of the laptop. And I have to say, I kind of really like it. I was gonna like kind of crap all over it and then say that it would be like gimmicky and like kind of stupid, but you know what? I really think it's pretty great. Um, I feel like this will patina and take a beating better than most plastics or metals will. And you know, I don't really know what this will age like. Um, you know, it's if this will sort of like mar and get gross looking over time, it probably will stain. So you're gonna need to be a little bit careful about that. But new and out of the box, it looks pretty cool. And it at least sort of kind of gives it a little bit of protection against like knocking around things in your backpack or your bag or something like that. So again, if you're traveling with it, this kind of like denim, fake denim outside is pretty good. There is something to note though about this fake denim outside and that is that if you ever have to get the screen repaired or replaced, it is going to be an absolute bear trying to find the denim the, uh, the denim cases on here. So uh, it's something to keep in mind, the repairability on that might be sort of hindered, but uh, you know, you could always take an old plastic back 
and you'd be fine there. But anyway, that said, screen does fold all the way back into a tablet-like shape. Uh, it does not have any kind of meaningful t uh, pen support on it. It does support one of Lenovo's pens, and I'll go ahead and link that into the description below. Uh, but that said, Lenovo's pen support, in my opinion, is some of the worst that you can get. The Surface Pros are far superior. De Dell's Active Pen is a little bit better too. And then of course you get the iPad, which is just sort of the, the king of, of all pens. But anyway, uh, that said though, again, I digress a lot in this one, right? Um, that, that said, this good materials can take a beating. I think if you're a college student or somebody in and out of an airport, this thing will do a very, very nice job. Uh, as far as features are concerned, it has a little webcam at the top. It's got this little cute little privacy shutter. So if you want to walk around, uh, you know, nude in your dorm or bedroom, you certainly could. Here is an example of what that webcam footage looks like now. Don't be surprised if I'm naked in it. Here's an example of the webcam footage on the Lenovo Yoga 6. All in this is a little bit disappointing. They probably could have, should have put a slightly better camera in it. And of course, it also has Wi-Fi 6, Bluetooth 5.0, and it's got a backlit keyboard, and then one of the worst goddamn trackpads you've ever used. Oh, it also has a fingerprint, a Windows Hello compatible fingerprint scanner on there, but back to the crappy trackpad. It is just garbage, man. I gotta tell you, it is tiny, it's uncomfortable to use, it is unresponsive, it doesn't ghost, so I will give it that. Basically, when you slide your finger around on the trackpad, it does go where you want it to go to, but it confuses the right click and the left click something fierce and it is borderline unusable. I really do think that if you buy this computer you're going to want to have an external mouse which is kind of a little too bad because ultimately if you're buying this computer you're probably traveling and you don't want to have a mouse with you. You want to be able to rely on the trackpad but you really just can't rely on the trackpad with this computer. You're gonna have to get a mouse if you want to I mean, just, 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 just touch screen on it. But you could use the touch screen on it and that I think works okay too. Anyway moral of the story that is probably one of my only complaints. I mean, I think I have two complaints. If I had to guess, two complaints with this computer. The um, trackpad, which I just talked about two seconds ago, and then the speakers. Otherwise, it's a pretty great computer, and you can get them on sale now for about 550 bucks from Best Buy's website. I will link to that uh, as well, and I think you can also get them on Amazon too. But nevertheless, if you can get this computer for anywhere between 550 and let's call it maybe like eh, 650, 700-ish bucks, I think that you're gonna really, really enjoy it and get a lot of good use out of it. Uh, Lenovo's customer support on these things is decent, but if you, you do have to send it back to them and usually it takes a few weeks for them to repair it and then send it back, but overall their customer service on this stuff is pretty good. A couple of other things to note with this computer is that it does have pretty good battery life. Um, Lenovo advertises a sort of like weird range of numbers, but practically speaking, you can get somewhere between maybe like 10 to 13 hours, kind of depending on what you're doing. We found that when you are running video, uh, doing any kind of real like heavy duty web browsing, that kind of thing, it does seem to tax the battery. But I think if you're kind of going, you know, again, bouncing uh, through an airport, through classes uh, on a college campus, this kind of thing probably can squeak by with about 10 to, 12 to 13 ish hours, somewhere around there. Um, Lenovo claims this thing is 0.7 inches thick and 2.9 pounds. So, I mean, really, if you are a student, it really probably would be pretty good for that. Uh, you know, again, travelers, maybe like a like a traveling journalist, somebody like somebody that's roaming the world, looking to like write up like a blog about cheese in Italy. Uh, the computer is very, very quick and snappy and fast. It does have NVMe storage, which is, uh, I wouldn't say user upgradable, but if you brought it to a shop, they could always put a bigger NVMe solid state drive in there if you had to. The RAM, unfortunately though, is not expandable. Thought I would do a quick cut to, just to show the inside of this thing. So as you can see right here, it's got one of these funky small solid state drives. So, you know, if you gotta, if you have to upgrade, there we go, focus, if you gotta upgrade, just gotta make sure you go into the small ones. But as you can see, there is no easy to access RAM slot, very sad. But that said, what you get is just a little quick peppy, nice little laptop running the Ryzen 5 processor, Radeon 7 graphics. Here's a benchmark of what this computer can kind of like perform with. Here's what comes up for the benchmark. We've got gaming 15%, 
desktop 65 and workstation 15. I do think that you'll be able to use this thing for doing like general productivity work. That means Outlook and Word and Excel and PowerPoint, all that good stuff. I think that you could certainly play games like Minecraft and Roblox and some of those other less intense 3D games. I do not think that you're gonna be able to play like Red Dead Redemption 2 on the highest maximum settings. Uh, this is just not a gaming laptop, but you could casually game on this thing if you wanted to. As far as using it for like audio processing or video editing, um, well, let's get into let's get into one of my favorite parts about this computer. I'm sorry, let's, let me, one minute. Let's get into one of my favorite parts about any computer that I'm reviewing. You know why. So uh, on this side, we have the headphone jack. And you really will need to plug headphones in because the speakers, did I mention the speakers are, are shitty? And then you've got a nice little USB super speed port right here. And then of course, a USB-C, which is a nice touch, USB-C compatible charger. Because it doesn't run on solar energy. And then on this side, you've got another little USB-C port where you can pop a display in there or something if you wanted to. A, another USB super speed port, nice touch. And then of course the little power button where you turn it on. So, I.O. Could you use this as like a mobile audio processing laptop? I think you could. I don't see why you couldn't use this thing to process audio as long as you didn't have maybe like a ton of effects and you're not doing anything like super, super crazy. I do think that you could use this thing to like sort of mix and match and record podcasts on and do that kind of sort of thing with. Um, as far as video editing is concerned, you could definitely get away with doing some video editing. I don't know if you could like, um, I don't know if you should do like 4K with like a ton of effects. You certainly don't want to do like raw footage or anything like that either. But this will absolutely get the job done if you're doing like 1080p editing editing zoom calls, small little snippets, TikTok videos perhaps, I think it'll do just fine. Um, overall, a very, very nice computer for the price. You really can't go wrong. Love the sort of uh, denim shape, all of it. Keyboard's very responsive. I got something, I got like 90 something words per minute. Um, certainly a little bit below average for my typing speed. The, the Lenovo keys are always a little bit weirdly shaped uh, with this sort of like little kind of like weird U at the bottom, but otherwise it is comfortable, it's responsive, it's tactile, it's a good computer. Just go out and buy one already. Just make sure you, buy, just click one of my affiliate links because uh, I'm trying to trying to save up for this. <laughs> you know, was that tacky? Was that a little bit tack? I feel like it was tacky. If you have any questions, feel free to reach out to us in the comments section. Please like and subscribe. We will be back with another video really, really, really soon.